everybody, what's going on? TJ here from Midlife Guarding Crisis. Long time no see. How you been? Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can get uh, first-hand knowledge of any brand new video we post here on this channel. Uh, today we're going to be assaulting this. This is my toolbox. One I work on the carts with, one I take to the racetrack with me. Uh, rolls around on wheels and uh, basically it hasn't been touched in two seasons. So. Uh, we're going to take everything out of it, clean it, reorganize it. Also going to go through here and take out some of the stuff figured out really don't need to have uh, in the toolbox. Uh, maybe in a, in a box of miscellaneous tools we'll leave on the trailer or something like that. But uh, it's all about organizing the toolbox so we can be as efficient as we are can be uh, when we get to the racetrack. Alright friends, here is what we're dealing with. Basically, uh, this is just as it's been left over the last 24 months. Uh, if you follow this channel, you know I was not able to race last year due to a, an injury. Broke my leg playing hockey right about a year ago this time, and that pretty much wiped out my season. Uh, but the box itself, the, it was it happened right in March, so this was about the time we'd have been out here getting ready for the uh, for the upcoming season. And as you can see, just from uh, the way it was left at the racetrack last time, uh, projects doing around the house and what have you, toolbox is pretty much trashed. I think most things are probably in the correct drawer, maybe, but uh, not a lot of organization to it. We all know there's nothing more frustrating than when you're in a big hurry at the racetrack and you can't find the tool you're looking for and you know it's in your box, you just don't know exactly where. So what we're going to do today, in some instances, we're just going to take everything out of here, clean it up, figure out what actually needs to be in here and what doesn't. Uh, there is some stuff in here that is kind of unique to the... Uh, to the top cart, the Yamaha uh, rig I was running three years ago, four years ago, whatever it was. So we'll clean some of that stuff out and uh, just figure out what needs to be in here and what doesn't. We'll depart it down here. It's kind of become a collecting place for just stuff. So we're going to clean that out too. Hopefully when we get all done, this will be a nice, well-organized, easy and efficient toolbox. Fingers crossed. Here we go. So here we go, this is pretty much the finished result, the top part anyway, the uh, the drawers and what have you. Uh, what I wanted to do was kind of get away from the mess and the clutter and everything that was in there is pretty much what I don't need is uh, up here on the workbench. However, I will take that tape, Teflon tape, and I'll put it in here. So here's what we got. What I wanted up front here was gonna be the things that you use most of the afternoon, uh, barring some kind of major, major calamity. Uh, up here, all your socket handles and extensions and what have you. Feeler gauge, this is my spark plug wrench, you get a big blue piece of tape on that, so I can look right down and grab it without looking. Feeler gauge is of course for your uh, spark plugs. Uh, just some things you might need. Again, not reaching for this all the time, but that's a good spot for it. Up here is kind of really the mainstay. Uh, up here I will also have my uh, Impact for the lugs. I know a lot of guys don't like using impacts on it. I do. So we have your uh, air gauge. This right here, these two, the 17 and 11 16, those are for tightening the uh, the motor mount. Uh, the same nut or the same driver that I use for the uh, uh, lugs will also be for the bottom side motor mount. Uh, here we go. This is 3 16. This is what is used for uh, loosening up the uh, the collars on the axle. This right here, this is gonna be my uh, six millimeter. That is for loosening and tightening the uh, uh, the sprocket uh, on the rear axle. Uh, spring tool, 
So just pretty much everything that you're reaching for, barring any major catastrophe, just doing in your general maintenance in between practice sessions and the race. Uh, down here, pretty much just going to be T-handles and, and pliers and things of that nature. They're all down in there, all cleaned up. Top drawer, since almost everything on this go-kart is metric. It's going to be the metric tool drawer right here, sockets, rent, uh, open and box in, of course. Down here, this is kind of a little different. Move this all together. This is going to be engine stuff. This is a jet kit and the tools used in the jet kit. Right here for uh, taking the float bowl off. I've got the uh, socket that actually loosens the, uh, uh, the main jet. A small screwdriver pulling everything else out. Spark plugs. Uh, sniper, laser alignment tool, spark plugs, uh, extra fuel pump, the CR125, filters, just, just miscellaneous things you might need. This will be used a lot. In fact, this will probably just get moved right up here right now. That is what you grip the crank sprocket with uh, when you're trying to loosen that up. And then down at the very bottom, just kind of miscellaneous things that you need to have. You know, use all the time a little extra fuel line, extra throttle, or that's extra, extra clutch cable, uh, torque wrenches. Float ball tool for a L206, which I may or may not need this year. Uh, safety wire, calipers. These are just kind of some cheap and expensive calipers that I need to get an idea on something real quick and metric. We've got this uh, this really nice set of Starrett uh, dial calipers that are probably pretty damn close as old as I am. Uh, but they are freaking awesome. Picked them for a guy, I think, for 20 bucks back when I was a tool and maker. Files, things like that. Uh, down here in the bottom, we'll hit that again. That's just kind of What's down there is what stays. Those are things you just need some place to ride along. That you may or may not need them, but you do need to have them at the racetrack with you just in case. So there you go, fans. Next project. Get this bad boy here put back together. Thankfully, not a lot to do. Do need to go in and figure out why this axle won't spin freely. So we got a little bit of a bind there we're going to fix. Get this uh, motor put back on here. Uh, I've got brand new body work for it, or for most of bumper, I should say, nerf bars and inside pods. So we just put back together for Steve and Jason. Uh, that's kind of our next project. But I want to make sure the toolbox was organized and we could work as efficiently as possible. So pretty much all I got to do now is all this stuff here will get sorted. Uh, most of it's probably going to end up in a box full of just miscellaneous stuff because a lot of it is just stuff you chuck in the top of your toolbox because you hardly ever use it. Uh, you know, little things like this, you cut it. You don't want to be a little bug, so you just kind of throw it over on the toolbox and figure you'll get to it later and then later never come. Sort through these. A lot of just stuff in there. Some of it I'll keep, some of it I won't. Put in that box and we'll have it for that time when you're looking for that one thing and you think you used to have it and you remember you threw it in that box over there. So there we go. Stay safe, wash your hands, keep your social distance, you know the drill, and work on your go-karts. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.